Demonstrations in Uganda have become a common thing to the extent that even the slightest issues is solved through demonstrations. Unity is strength. Down with the thieves. But these actually MPs say that their demonstration is one of a kind since it's going to be taken abroad to the international community for better redress. The actual leaders are going to organize peaceful demonstrations in, the old, in all cities in the diaspora where our people live. The MPs led by Aru County Odonga Oto and National Female Youth MP Monica Amoding say that trying suspects from Kampala is another rigor to the people in the north. They argue that suspects should be taken to Guru since the victims of their vice are in northern Uganda, not Kampala. We want our people to heal by seeing Kazinda and Bijirimana. We also demand that government and the chief justice issues a directive that trials of the OPM scandal suspects be taken to northern Uganda. The 1995 Constitution of the Republic of Uganda stipulates that an individual is innocent until proven guilty, meaning that provision of bail to suspects is inevitable. The MPs are now pulling another shot at the opium scam suspects as they want them denied certain liberties like travels abroad. In case our campaigns at the Hague does not amount to instituting criminal prosecutions on those individuals, then we would also pray using diplomatic encounters that these people will be given travel bans. Aru County MP Odonga Oto thinks that having such people tried in the International Criminal Court will not only project Uganda as a country devoted to fighting corruption, but also send a message to every individual around the world intending to misuse donor funds. The International Criminal Court considers launching preliminary inquiries whether crimes against humanity can be instituted on the likes of Kazinda, who stole public money to settle people in northern Uganda, and people remain dying in camps in thousands, and he built personal empires in Kampala. Jaden Mwangizi, NBS Television, Parliament.